called the Public Works Meeting Tour. And roll call. People will go roll call first. <coughs> sure. <laughs> yes. So, other person, Oren. Here. Becker. Is he online? Sure. Dean. No, he didn't join. Okay. All right. Salazar. Here. Avalio. Present. Very good. So, we are all here. Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, first item is the approval of the minutes from August 24th. Motion to approve. Second. Very good. So the uh, the motion has been seconded. Any discussion? All right. All those in favor say aye. Aye. The chair vote aye. The minutes are, minutes are approved. The first item on the agenda of today is 3.1. Resolution number 53-21-22, July 7, 2021, document 5.5. Authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute the lease agreement between the city of Sheboygan, the Elwood H. May Environmental Park Association of Sheboygan County, Inc., and the Sheboygan County YMCA. Madam Chair, yes, that, this is uh, as in front of you. Item for consideration this evening is the agreement as presented uh, to the committee and I know I know that uh, assistant city attorney Chuck uh, Thomas Cameron is here as well as Chuck Adams in his in the attorney's office have uh, been uh, instrumental in reviewing this and I believe mm -hmm. the members of Elwood uh, May and the YMCA uh, here this evening as well as members of the public so I, I would with your permission, I would turn it over to Assistant City Attorney. Please go ahead. Um, in the in the interim between when this was referred to committee, when it was submitted to council, and now there were a, a handful of sort of minor tweaks to the agreement, uh, all of which have been worked through with uh, all of the relevant parties. I would I would describe the sort of broadest substance of the agreement as being unchanged. It's still the idea of of renting uh, renting the space and, and providing for that. Um, really, the, the bulk of it deals with changing some dates in a way that hopefully makes a little bit more sense for how, at, at some point when termination of this agreement occurs, how that works, how the notice works, having a term that runs sort of through the summer rather than ending with school so that any summer programs would fit under, under one term. Um, a, a handful of other sort of technical items, we have the correct legal name of the Sheboygan County YMCA, which is important to, I think, everyone involved, but I think we've maybe had it not entirely correct in the past, so we got that cleaned up. Um, and I would say that that's sort of the, the substance of these, these revisions. So uh, when it comes to that point, we would recommend that the motion be to approve the resolution with the amended contract. So it's not an amendment to the resolution, just a, a slightly tweaked approval motion. And I'm certainly happy to speak to any any questions you may have on the, on the document. Yes, Savannah. Thank you. Um, rent point 10, can you just run me through um, no greater than the larger of a 5% increase or CPI? So if you get CPI that jumps to like 23% or something crazy like that, that would be the maximum we could raise their thing, not 5%. So no greater than the larger of 5% or CPI. So that would be, um, yes, if, if CPI goes up 23%, uh, 23% could be imposed, which doesn't mean that it, it would be. And, that, and then uh, it, conversely, if CPI ends up being 1%, we could still go up 5 Yes. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Uh, yes. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'll make a motion to approve as amended. Second. Very good. So... The motion has been seconded. Um, any other discussion on this? No? All, this, all those in uh, favor say aye. 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 
chair says aye, would vote aye, the motion has been approved. Item 3.2, resolution number 54-21-22, July 7, 21. Have a good evening. 21, document 5.6, a resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a contract with LLC for the purchase of a prefabricated bridge to be installed in Evergreen Park. Who takes that? And Chair, I'm going to defer this to the city engineer, Ryan Sazma. And uh, if we'll point you to the map on the screen, we're going to pull up Evergreen Park and give you at least an idea of where this is being located. Uh, Shiboy and Corey. Uh, East of this, on the north side of Sheboygan, Evergreen Park, Area 5 has its own separate entrance that comes off of Highway 42 or Calumet Drive. And, uh, <laughs> and currently there's a pedestrian bridge in this location that is old, uh, not very uh, structurally sound. And this will be removed and the new bridge will be located in well, this uh, orientation how I have the cursor on the screen and it's as we mentioned it's a prefab bridge and uh, again I'm going to let Ryan lead the discussion in terms of the particulars on this uh, bridge. Yeah as David mentioned <clears throat> that's an existing wooden bridge that's been there forever this project has been on our been on the radar for a long time and we were finally able to chase down some some grant money to help mm -hmm. pay for part of this and getting a nice metal bridge in there is just going to enhance everything it's going to allow epw vehicles to kind of go back and forth when it comes to cleaning the park say uh, after after an event on, at area five um it'll help a lot with making spirits bright for their for their operation um yeah so like i said we just had this on a radar for a while that 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 wooden bridge is just yeah it's not good it's it's time it's been time for a while so we're gonna put a, just a small pedestrian bridge it'll it'll handle like the size of a half ton pickup truck or a ton pickup truck to go back and forth with but it'll just make a lot more sense to have that and really be really cool <laughs> for everybody can i ask why we're not putting it where the other bridge was like why we're moving it over to a different angle it'll just work out strategically better to go there we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna extend the parking lot and stuff like that to, got it okay to, we're actually we're gonna have like an ada ramp also or oh, okay. going to it and actually okay. this will have, allow equipment <laughs> right now this is so close to the edge of the road here <laughs> making that turn is nearly impossible right it's okay for a pedestrian right but now if we have a small pickup truck or a, a ski tra trail groomer that will be uh traveling across the bridge this is uh gives more uh lead up to exit on <laughs> uh, enter the bridge itself okay well, won't this also uh help us deal with that issue between making spirit sprite and the people that ski correct okay so we will have less conflict in our community if we put the bridge there okay okay but david's right this way when a, when a vehicle pulls up to it it'll be straight on it's like trying to make a crazy turn into it and um, it, it was, like you said we will have a path leading up so let's just get the bridge in place and mm -hmm. our dpw crews are able to pave the path and extend the parking lot so it'll, it's really going to be a nice nice addition to evergreen okay. Is there a picture and, of it? And we have uh, no i don't that in here. It's, it's a metal bridge, similar to the stuff you might see on Taylor Drive or, or, or on Highway 23. I'm sorry, yeah. No, no problem. And uh, we were awarded already the grant for that, right? Yes. Right. And just that I see a discrepancy. It's going to be 176,000 or 151,000? 151,000. Okay. So why it says that? So the 176,000 was allocated to replacement of the bridge. Well, there's gonna, there's gonna be some other costs. Right, there's some other costs like the, like the path and that I was talking about, stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. right. yeah. There's Thank some engineering that has to go into this bridge also for the designer. That's for the good. Design of it. Madam Chair. Um, on the personal board. Thank you. Uh, when I read this over, uh, it wasn't real clear. I, I presume Wheeler Lumber is gonna do the installation too. So what we'll do is we'll 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 get the no no we'll 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 bid out the construction portion of it. So oh, okay. we'll, we'll be coming back with another contract. All right, yeah, I, it wasn't clear on, on the document that I read yesterday that oh, who was going to do the installation. No, no, right, it'll just be better. <laughs> the guy bids on it. You know, the, the the bridge is here. You can go yep. pick it up. They don't have 
contractor has to worry about any ordering or any of that stuff. We, it's, it's here, it's own. So that's a, that's is, the cleanest way to do it. It's similar to what it will be. Yeah. Oh yeah, those are very nice. Mm -hmm. So and it's it's come it comes prefab made comes shipped to us and then we just uh, have to do the prep work and it gets set in place with a crate. It's going to be 12 feet wide. It's going to have like a little fishing nook out, you know, like a little balcony. So you can, people can fish. That, was, that was part of the grant. You had to have that in there. So. Just to follow up on that, Madam Chair, that's that's nothing that we would consider doing in house, would we? Oh, no. What kind of a company would bid on that? Um, I, I heard that Joseph Schmidt puts them in, but there's there's companies oh. out there. I heard, yeah, I heard Joseph Schmidt puts, puts some of them in. Okay. Companies like that. Okay. And since I have been asked about this bridge already a few months ago, I think it's an old, old project, right? It's an idea that came a long, long time yeah. ago. Because I was asked about this. And uh, do we have an idea related to this? Um, I mean, to what our action today. Uh, do we have an idea when we would then work on the actual installation? This winter. Okay. Yeah, this winter. Oh, all right. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Do we have a motion? Motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. Very good. So motion has been seconded. Any other discussion on this? No? Okay. So all those in favor say aye. 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 The chair goes aye. The motion passes. Item number 3.3, .3, resolution number 555-2122, July 7th, 2021, document 5.7, a resolution authorizing the purchasing agent to issue a purchase order to industrial marketing and consulting for the purchase of a replacement street sweeper for the public works department. Who takes this one? Yeah. And Chair, this is uh, as as the item for consideration this evening. This is actually for a 2022 year replacement, but we need to place the order now. And uh, due to the lack of availability of equipment and production, uh, so we're placing the order now, but we don't pay anything until next year. This has been approved within the 2022 budget for capital improvements. So, and it's coming out of the motor vehicle fund. And in other words, it's not being borrowed funds or any of that. This is uh, cash within that fund that is earmarked for this. But it's necessary, though, for us to place the order. That's why it's up for consideration now, uh, mm -hmm. given the fact of the supply chain and the issues of trying to um, secure this. So we have it for next spring when we sweep the streets in spring after the winter season. Very good. Thank you. Any questions on this? Other person for us? Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, David, do we have one street sweeper? Is this going to be in a... Uh, mm -hmm. We have three. We have three. And we, we have one Timco that we purchased and we got received delivery this year. This is a replacement of another older street sweeper next year. Okay. Similar to the one that we uh, received this year. All right. Mm, and that's with the, it's not the old style sweeper. This is a regenerative air. It's almost like, it's like a, a vacuum type. It's not just brooms and. Yep. Okay. We do have a fourth one that is the broom mm -hmm. that we do take out with big sticks, mm -hmm. but it's so old and we just yeah, keep yeah. that for the yard and such. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the three are the regenerative error. Okay. Motion to approve. Second. Good. So, um, any other discussion on this? Just one comment. Uh, for $300,000, how much more would it be to get it self-driving? Seems like it's, it's, it's coming. It's coming. 2024. Maybe a little longer now. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. um, All those in favor? Aye. 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 Good, good. All right. So the motion passes. Item 3.4. Number 56 21 22, July 7, 2021, document 9.2, a resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to accept the necessary permanent and temporary easements for the city to construct a sidewalk on the north side of Union Avenue. Six, six, six. Sure. Right. We are, the city is currently reconstructing Union Avenue from Georgia Avenue to 
uh, South 26th Street. And it's the only section of Union Avenue that's never really been reconstructed in the last I don't know, 50, 60 years. So we're, we're reconstructing the road. <laughs> and the big driver of this was the Aurora of it, the development. We want we wanted to make sure Union Avenue is, is up to city standards. And we have sidewalk in Union Avenue all the way from Lake Michigan all the way to Taylor Drive, except for this one section. Part of it was the road, the, the road never got upgraded, therefore the sidewalk never got put in. So that's why we need these permanent easements. One of them is from the school district, and the other one is from one of the several property owners there. Mm -hmm. The school district is pretty excited about the sidewalks. They like having having uh, the ability of a children to walk to school. Yeah. Yeah. And it looks like only two. So you need the only two easements, right? Yeah. They, they, these are these are permanent easements. So these are right, easements right. that will be there forever. I'll be coming back with a couple. There'll be some other easements, just temporary grading easements. Oh, we put the okay. sidewalk in. We might have to grade back in our yard. We need like we need like five or six of those. But for the time being, we need these permanent ones. They're the third most critical one. So one one point of clarification: yeah. the way we the way we wrote this resolution, um, mm -hmm. we've authorized the mayor and city clerk to enter into those temporary limited easements for grading or construction purposes or, or things like that. And part of the thought in doing it that way was, you know, sometimes in the course of construction, the easement you need ends up being a little bigger than you thought, and we want to make sure that things can move forward and we can we can get things built in a way that that makes sense. Um, and they are temporary and limited. Thank you. Uh, a while back up the road on Evans, um, they redid some of the corners mm -hmm. and one of my neighbors over there had all sorts of weeds sprout up when they replanted the grass. Uh, she had a heck of a time getting somebody to go back out there and actually put down grass seed instead of weed seed, we yeah. call it. Um, is there a plan to actually put grass down where you're going to be grading and everything in this new place in a way that's not going to cause mm -hmm. this homeowner to be upset? Uh, yeah, we're, we'll plant we'll plant grass seed, and we'll have, uh, just by being late in the season, we'll have to come back in the spring to touch it up. Yeah. It's just the way it is. So, Plus, that, that grass between the terrace, between the curb and the sidewalk, that's tough because it comes up, but it's never really as nice as your lawn is because you've got salt on it from and dirt. And, but, it, but yeah, we will touch up anything that doesn't that doesn't come up this year. That's that's pretty typical. Thank, Thank you very much. the water. Right. The homeowner needs takes some ownership. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. that, that was. She watered it every day, and it got to be this huge forest of burdock. So, like, <laughs> just bad seed. <laughs> yes. Hey, neighbor. <laughs> so, if you weed and feed that really heavy, you'll kill the weeds and the grass will, the grass will come up. But, mm. yeah, you, you got to take a little ownership. It helps. Oh. Yeah. That person bought it. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I'm just trying to visualize this now. Where the blood plasma park places is there already sidewalk there? Mm -hmm. That got them last year through your Aurora property. Okay, so then it'll be continuous and all yep. the way you have to cross Taylor Drive and then you'll be at the right. at the hospital. It's pretty right. much from the entrance of Horseman School as well. Okay. okay. And it'll still have a bike path, right? There's a bike path in the right? On, on Union, uh, no, there'll not be a bike trail marked on there. Okay. No. But it'll be a sidewalk that somebody will be able to use. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you can ride your bike on the sidewalk. Well, to get to the Taylor bike path. Technically, you're not supposed to. I don't think okay. so. But it's the options there. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I don't. I don't believe Union Avenue is a, is a designated bike trail. Okay, I thought it was. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any more questions? All right. So, um, I. So we voted on that already, right? So then we, no, we have no, 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 um since there was no document for the of the resolution attached i propose to uh, hold on this item and perhaps there will be a um an exception to the rule will be proposed to the common council next uh, next uh next meeting do we need a motion for that uh, you would want a motion to hold very motion good. to hold second very good all those in favor? Aye. 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 So that motion passes. 
uh, number four, so the number 4.1, general ordinance number 2021-22, August 16, 2021, document 7.3, an ordinance creating a no parking zone on the north side of 9th North Street, 9th Street North of Center Avenue. Who takes that? I can take that. Um, the, the reason I, I'm passing on a picture here is because this, the construction of City Hall, the parking lot, and all the different types of parking on the street is, is so new, it's not on any Google Earth or anything like that. Uh -huh. That's why I went and got the picture of it, so it might, might, might help what the DPW is trying to accomplish. Um, you can see that this is this is the um, west side of uh, City Hall on, on, on North 9th Street. And you can see there's one green space area there where we have a sign up right now that says no parking police orders. And the reason, there's several reasons why, why we want to eliminate that one spot. It's really only enough room for one spot because there's two driveways and a crosswalk on both sides of that, of that green space. Um, one reason is I've had, I've had calls from people trying to exit the, the, um, the parking lot on the north side of City Hall, which is the main entrance. When they want to exit, the cars will kind of, the, the parks so close to the exit of the driveway that people have issues with sight distance trying to pull out. That's what I had several of those phone calls. Mm -hmm. And the other phone call, the other actually the most practical one is is there's a dumpster location. If you see where those where the where the silver doors are on the right hand side of the mm -hmm. picture, and what's really convenient when we pick up garbage there is that we need a spot to pull up that garbage truck and then get get the dumpsters out from there. If there's a car parked there, it just it, it just doesn't uh, right. it doesn't work very well. And also you know, we do have the city hall sign there, so when you see that city hall sign, it really tells the individuals this is the entrance to city hall. I think for so many years people were used to coming off of Center Avenue, so that's why that's why we just want to eliminate that one parking spot. There's there's two parking uh, two parking spots on the right hand side of the hydrant. You see where that is? There's two metered spots over there. Have we talked about <clears throat> one space in there? Right? One space in there. So we sort of this was proposed to us at the last committee, mm -hmm. and we understood sort of what was being proposed. Right. We still feel strongly that. Well, we suggested to mm -hmm. go back and look at trying to put in one spot, at least, you know, not eliminate. We, we had initially talked about two cars there, and then there was discussion about the dumpster, or not the dumpster, the, the, hauling, the hauling truck that is parking there. Um, I guess to me, it doesn't really matter who parks there or what's parked there. Right. <laughs> is that if we put a spot that limits it for, say, 30 minutes or two hours or whatever, then they can move on. It, are you did that get discussed with you or are we just saying you, what you're sharing with us is just like this is what you want to put forward yeah it's what i want to put forward just to eliminate number one it'll it'll eliminate any kind of site distance issues okay for someone for someone leaving city hall mm -hmm. and number two when you're picking up garbage those are those are big trucks the last thing you want to be doing is have you get any chance of start banging in the cars so it's just nice to have it nice and clean plus if you technically try to put two spots in there and you got to stay we, we, we were okay with just one but one spot you you, you I, Technically, I don't think you would get two spots in there because you got to stay okay. five feet away from each driveway. Yep. Plus, there is a crosswalk on the uh, south side of the green space area. Sure. And so, mm -hmm. there's not enough room for two spots. Right, but yeah. even one spot. You could I mean, there's not enough room for there's, there's, there's room for one spot. There's not room for two spots. So you, you can't eliminate. It's just not there's just not enough room for two spots. Except if it's my car. Yeah. Well, this is your <laughs> I drive a five hundred. <laughs> so. Um, May I? Please. You talk about the pickup of the garbage, which mm -hmm. happened. How many times we get picked up at City Hall? Well, I thought it was, I'd say once a week. Once a week? Yeah. Um, but at the same time, the businesses on uh, Pennsylvania Avenue between 8th Street and 9th Street, they've got that little alleyway, and I see cars parked on both sides of that alleyway, mm -hmm. and we don't get a lot of car hits there that. I'm aware of. Like, what business are you talking about? I guess. Uh, the yeah. one that's like they we sell on um, eBay in the, the yarn shop. Yeah. Flies. What else is there? Mona Lisa. Um, sure that little alleyway. Right. It's a block yeah. away. Okay. And we still have cars parked on either side of yeah. where you get trash pickup. I I just don't know if we've the, hit the mark here. This this really isn't isn't putting the hurt on a neighborhood if we eliminate this one parking side. It's not it's not like in a neighborhood where you got a bunch of upper lower flats where parking is a premium. You're really not. I don't. I don't see what by living. I don't. I don't what's here. the hurt of having a vehicle park? There's no hurt in having a vehicle park either. But it's just. It's just, it's just going to make things cleaner for people to exit. It is City Hall. You. I said you have the sign there. It really tells you the entrance to it. So that was the thinking behind it. Okay. 
because you get a car park there, you're not going to see the uh, the city hall entrance. The, so. the sign to me isn't. There's a lot of other places that I pointed out the last meeting that have some parking in front of a sign. So for me, it doesn't feel like that's a big issue. The person voted. Thank you, Ms. Madam Chair. Uh, I like the new sign, but I brought this up a few months ago. Is why why don't we have a small sign on Center Avenue? I mean, I mean, I think everybody in Sheboygan knows it's City Hall, but a lot of people come down A Street and take a left. There's nothing there identifying it as City Hall. I mean, maybe it doesn't have to be as elaborate elaborate as the one we have by the parking lot over here, but something there that says you know Sheboygan City Hall, and maybe say parking with an arrow around the corner, whatever. But at least identifying it as City Hall. Maybe that's something we could, uh, somebody from the department could maybe discuss with Chad and see if we just maybe want to add something. I just think it would, uh, and make it similar to the one we have over here. I think it would look nice and it would give further direction for people. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a nice idea, it's a good idea, but it's unrelated to this subject, right? I mean, what yes. is the relationship between this? No, there's no relationship. Okay. Well, I saw the no, sign, just saw the sign in the picture, so I thought it'd bring it yeah. up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. But obviously, if the committee wants to keep a spot there, well, we can keep a spot there. It's not that strictly up to the committee. I'm just giving you reasons why DPW is requesting this to right. 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 clean, keep it open. and. Um, but if we wanted to leave only one spot, uh, I mean, a parking spot, then we should change our uh, resolution, correct? Yeah. I'd, have to, I'd have to draft a whole new resolution because right. we're going to do that. We should get, I would think we'd, we'd want to get a meter in there. That would be the most practical thing to do. Right. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly my next question. How do you actually determine, I mean, how do you how, how do you uh, explain that visually? I mean, have, there is only one spot. You, know. you, 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 would, you would mark it with paint. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, right, I said right. the, the, Three reasons I said the safe distance people exiting the park. I assume I mean, I'm not up at City Hall that much myself, but I assume that parking lot is used pretty heavily. I would think behind the north side of City Hall. Would that mm -hmm. would that stall be then right outside the west window of the clerk's office? Is that where that one stall would be? Well, Jim, it would be where that where that where that cross buck sign is in the picture. And what sign? Oh, did you have the sign? It, it, yeah, I got it. Yeah, it would be north of okay, north of the clerk's window. Yeah. North of the clerk's window, but it would be before the, the dumpster hole. Yeah. No, it would be it would, north, it would be north of the dumpster. That, yes. okay. I don't know. So I'd have a problem there with that. blocking that sign and blocking people want to get getting out of the parking lot. And that's and that, that what's kind of kicked us off was the, what was what the phone calls I had for, for site distance issues. From think, city employees or people no, no, living no, no, in city? Just, just some people that called me up. I think it's two people trying to park there. Yeah. And one it's one. Yeah. yeah. I think if you eliminated it, that so do you think that by having only one spot that happened would not be there? No, it's so you, you still would have it wouldn't, it wouldn't be as clean and open as it is now. But I said the DPW's recommendation is just just don't have any parking. It'd be different if parking was such a premium. I've never heard of City Hall parking lot being being full. So it's, it's not like in some of these residential neighbors where you have upper lower flats. I mean every spot counts in the a lot of your a lot of your neighborhoods like that. That's that's not the issue here. So but yeah, it's up to the committee what they want to do. So so if if we were looking to have a, a um a resolution that just had the one spot there, best course of action would be to so there's there's a couple places you can go with this. Um one of them would be to forward the ordinance back to council Normally, things go back to council with a, a, a recommendation to approve. Uh, you can forward things back either with a neutral recommendation or with a recommendation to, to vote down, um, both of which are, are options. Um, one of the things that we talked about um, at the last meeting was trying to amend the ordinance at the, at the committee level. Mm -hmm. um, and then move it forward from there. Um, that would would also be an option. Um, you know, there there's sort of various levels of of way of ways to do that. Um, you know, the the document itself it would be a motion to hold um, with sort of instructions from the committee to draft something. The other the other way that that could be done is. You send everything to council, and it's a motion to 
and at council, it becomes a motion to instruct staff to draft a document that puts a metered spot there, essentially. Mm -hmm. Didn't we do that in the minutes of the last meeting? Yeah, I think it was wasn't a motion to hold this document here. I think it was, here, think it was a motion to hold, change it to be one spot. And, and then they would they would go back, propose something back to one spot. It's, we got the exact same proposal without the one spot. So I'm trying to. I thought we the, did the, that. The, so. the, the city engineer was not here at the last right. meeting, and sure. he was the per, principal author of this, and he felt that if he wanted to give an opportunity to explain it to the committee. Mm -hmm before he before that change was implemented we have time we can bring it back to the next meeting mm -hmm. it's it's been no parking for the last four months now sure. so another two weeks he can redo the ordinance and we can bring it back to the committee for consideration under those directions right i, I feel yes um thank you Madam Chair. Sure. i've got a, i've got a real problem with a parking spot there particularly if it's a large suv uh, F-150 or bigger truck, I'm not an expert on trucks, but if that thing is parked there, number one, you're not going to see the sign. And you're not going to see the, dry, the driveway. Uh, if somebody is coming out, coming out, they're going to be, their vision is going to be blocked on 9th Street. I got, I've got a problem with it for one parking stall because it's not an urgent need for a parking spot there, in my opinion. Yes, I actually have this. I I feel um, I feel the same. I feel that since there is no issue with parking in that area, especially for the for the city's employee, I I feel comfortable with it, and I agree that it's cleaner. So I feel comfortable without a parking spot, saving a parking spot on that. And I'm gonna one, make I'm gonna make a motion to approve it as presented by the city engineer with with no parking spots if that's how it, how it reads. All right. Do we have any second? Uh, does the chair have the option of seconding the uh, the the motion? I, I believe you do. All right. So I second that motion. Any further discussion? I'd like to make one additional comment here. Uh, whether there is a need for parking or not shouldn't be how we designate whether the parking is allowed. We should, by default, let people do what they'd like as long as it's within a responsible manner. So to just say you can't park there because you don't need to park there is a terrible precedent to set. Especially also over a sign, you know, or a space. Like I, we've have, we have tight areas, other places, it doesn't feel valid. Yes, I, I appreciate that in, actually, that insight. Uh, what I'm feeling is, I mean, my opinion on this is that um, I agree that due to the average size of American vehicles, that is in fact would be one and a half spot. I agree that, especially with SUVs. So um, I don't think in this case, and due to the fact that there are the five feet requirements from the, from the, um, the driveways and the idea that from the right side. So we have a we have a few arguments in favor of that and uh, not. So I, I just propose to vote on this. So you have a second. Yes, we had a seconded motion. Then we all those in favor say aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. Um, any opposing? Nay. Okay. Nay. So we have to oppose to uh, favoring. So the, the motion does not pass because it's at 2-2. Right. Um, this doesn't happen very often at the committee level. Um, frequently when we get into the 2-2 the situation um, where things ultimately end up landing is a recommendation to approve to council with a, a neutral recommendation. You're, you're not bound by that. We can go round and round and, and vote 2-2 two, two on things. But yeah. frequently that is the mechanism to say that there is disagreement. You know, the committee, it is very clearly split and it, it's not, it, it's going back to council, but not going back to council with a recommendation. Yes, and we do have, a, we need a motion for that. So you, you would need a motion for that and you would need a vote for that if that was the desire um, for where the committee wanted to go. All right, I think that is a very reasonable uh, round to take. Do we have a motion on that? So moved. Second. Very good, so we have a motion, seconded motion. Any other discussion on that? All right, so all those in favor say aye. Aye. 
chair votes aye, the motion passes. So the exact motion that has been passed is that to hold, uh, to actually to, to send. send it to the to the Common Council as a neutral recommend with no recommendation. Um, that's it. Correct, and then okay. the council will vote the as, as they vote on on everything. Correct, and even yes, even things with a positive recommendation are not, uh -huh. not guaranteed. Right. <laughs> yes. right. So we pass that to the common council. Very good. So the motion passes. <laughs> good, and with that, we have exhausted all the items on our agenda. The next meeting is September 28, 2021. Do we have a motion for judge? So moved. Again. Very good. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion passes. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.